getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday, and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. Okay, so the target is Vinny Sinistra, a former Cuban crime lord. Vinny has admitted his involvement in several high-profile killings on U.S. turf. He has agreed to a plea bargain that ironically has gotten him into the Federal Witness Protection Program. Vinny, who was once the carefree goodfella thinking he was untouchable, is now eaten up by paranoia and boredom as a result of being locked up in a cage. And we're also gotta retrieve the microfilm which contains the evidence. Okay, let's go for him. Okay, so we're gonna be going after Vinny here. And Vinny is in the Witness Protection Program. He's prote protected 24 hours a day by the FBI. They also have security cameras all over the house. So what I like to do is I like to wait until that FBI agent over there turns around. The moment he turns around, I go up to the donuts here. Put a sedative in the donut box. Then I go up to this fan. Put down the donuts, knock on the door. Look at how stupid these FBI agents are. Somebody leaves you donuts there, knocks on the door and runs away and they just take it. How dumb are these guys? steal the videotape that'll knock out the security cameras okay security cameras are taken care of now we go in the house there's Vinny's wife she has the microfilm on her neck necklace that's the evidence that we need. Okay. Okay, now what we do is drag her in here so that she's not found. We take the microfilm. There we go. Now we go for Vinny. Okay, now Vinny's right here. He's watching soccer. an FBI agent in the room. Okay, we just wait until this guy walks back into the house. This 
can be a little tricky sometimes because there's so many NPCs walking around. Okay. We break this box here. That's going to cut the power to the TV now. Now Vinny's going to complain, and the FBI agent is going to go outside to check on the box. While he goes to check on the box, we take care of Vinny now. Now what? But he's dead. Hide him in the closet. We gotta be quick because the FBI agent does come back. There we go. Target eliminated. Contract complete. Put our suit back on. Now we leave. Silent Assassin, nice. Silent Assassin wanted by police. Vinny Slugger Sinistra killed. Police suspect blood money is involved. La Jola Police Department confirmed this morning that prosecution witness Vinny Slugger Sinistro was found dead at his mansion in the quiet suburb Del Mar yesterday at noon. Investigators suggest that some sort of strangulation device was used for the majority of the deaths, possibly fiber wire. The police have stated the lack of witnesses is making this an especially difficult case to investigate. The police have absolutely no clue of the killer's appearance, as nobody claims to have seen him or her. Vinny Sinistra, age 43, an expatriated Cuban, was exported by Castro like so many other criminals in the late 80s. Sinistra had been involved in organized crime all his life. He quickly teamed up with Sammy Falconetti and Bobby Mazur to form one of Miami's most notorious drug smuggling trios. They are believed to have smuggled several tons of cocaine by boat from the Bahamas during the 90s. Sinistro is wanted by the FBI for the murder of Luis Zukovsky, a state witness against the drug trio. Sinistro was placed under the Federal Witness Protection Program when he turned himself in after a month-long nationwide manhunt. Almost 20,000 people in the U.S. have entered the Federal Witness Protection Program since its inception in the 1970s. Sinistro's victim, Luis Zukovsky, was in the program at the time of his death. Authorities insist that these two cases are exceptions to the rule. Federally protected witnesses ordinarily live out their days in peace. Very few die violent deaths, but according to one federal, federal employee who insisted on anonymity, it ain't like it breaks your heart when one of these scumbags goes down. So that's it there for this contract. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will have the next part up for you guys tomorrow as well. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one.